Hey YouTube, here's a video reviewing the Warrior AK-27. It is a really cool stick, and I actually got the two-piece system from a local sports store used, and I got it for $30, and as you can see the two-piece, the blade insertion right there, and it has a 190 composite blade. And this is also the Noslin Curve, my favorite curve. This is a very good stick. Um, well, the first time I was shooting with it, I'm not really using this for ice, the first time I shot with it, kind of felt awkward and not very good a stick. The second time I shot with it, it felt very nice and well balanced. And I, I this stick has the squaredest corners of any stick I've ever seen like seriously this thing is a complete square and as i said in my 95 video i like the square corner so that was nice but this is the grip version of it ak-27 warrior um i think it's really great but the person before me that had this was a complete idiot because they put grip tape around it all all the way down the stick like, well, not all the way down the stick, but, like, down to here, and I had to, like, wash it off, and there's still this sticky stuff around it and stuff, but, yeah, it's, it's a really nice stick. Something I actually really like that Warrior did, when instead of putting a normal butt in, they put the wood in, and it doesn't come out, because something I'm always hating is when the butt end on, um, the, not a butt end, just a little bud. Um, comes out on your hockey sticks because it just annoys me so much. But graphically, it's, it's going to be a great stick because Warrior obviously has cool, really cool graphics. Um, I'd really recommend this stick. Um, it doesn't say the kick point. It just says it's just a good stick for going out there and taking hard slap shots or whatever and just beating the heck out of the stick. But the it feels like it has a really high kick point, and it's actually really nice. But that was a quick look at the Warrior AK-27 two-piece with a 195 Naslin blade. Um, bye.